Hi, fifth graders. It's Miss Otero. I'm going to show you how to get into Miss Watson's stuff. I know some of us have been having some issues with it. Okay. So this is the sixth grade stuff from my teacher view, but I added myself as Miss uh, in Miss Watson's class. So I'm a student just like you. I'm going to click on her name. Okay. Where it says ELA. And I know some of yours might say 5B and 5C, but they're all the same assignments. Okay. So this was yesterday's assignment. And this is today's. To get into it, I need to click on it, okay? So I'm gonna click here and it'll open up. Now, I noticed the first time I did this, nothing appeared over here and I had to wait maybe like a full minute and a half, okay? So if you're not sure, you can be patient and just wait for this to pop up. Or you can hit this button over here that says reload or the refresh button. And that'll send everything through again. And sometimes it makes it work a little bit better. It's like turning something on and off again to make it work. Okay. So if you have a question for your teacher, you can add a private comment here. So hi, Mrs. Watson. Thank you for teaching us online. And then you send it. Okay. And she can respond back in here. Now I'm going to, it says read and fill out the Google Doc over here in my instructions. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to read this first. It says my name on it underneath your work. All right, so it's important to know how much things cost. That way you can use your money wisely. All right, and then I'm going to read this and I'm going to answer my questions. Now, you notice you can't click on any of these answers because this is a PDF and you can't edit PDFs. Okay, what Miss Watson did is she made a Google Doc for you to answer over here. So I would write down my answers on a scrap sheet of paper or maybe type them in another Google Doc. Open up a Google Doc over here. Just like record stuff. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's just an option if you don't have pencil or paper around you just click blank and you can record things but what you should do is go back and if you want to miss watson to see anything you do you need to work in this google doc here okay look at that what was the paragraph about you must use complete sentences and i can type right in here the paragraph was about, okay, and look, that red line came up because I spelled it wrong. So I can click on it and it'll tell me how to spell it. And then I would finish my answer. What's fun is I can also change my text color, get a little creative. Maybe I want it to be in red, okay? Find three vocab words you didn't know and write the definition. Okay, here we go. I can find the definition by literally just Googling it. Like, what is the definition of, and then whatever word you picked, and you'll hit enter. Okay. Let me go back to my Google Doc. So I'm going to write just some gibberish here so you can see how it looks. And then my answers. Hey, okay. I'll fill those out, blah, blah, blah. And it's synonym, and it's. I'm going to answer that as well, okay? Now, I need to turn this in now. All right. Oh, look, I can even type my name up here. Okay, I'm going to turn this in. Usually when we, sh we hand things to teachers, we hit the share button, but we're not going to do that when we're working with Google Classroom. We're going to hit the turn in button right here, okay? So I'm going to hit turn in, and it's going to take me back to Google Classroom. Okay, and it's gonna ask me if I wanna turn in my work. Here's two attachments will be submitted. Okay, this one and this one. Do I wanna do this? If I'm not ready, I would hit cancel, but since I am ready, I'm gonna hit turn in. Okay, it's turning in. And I'm all set. If I decide I wanna make changes, I can hit the unsubmit button and I can go back in. Good luck, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions. Hey, guys. It's Miss Otero. Hi. I'm having uh, some...